<sighs> Thank you. We do what we do because we love animals, right? I need to talk to Betty. One minute, I'll bring her up on speakerphone. Hi again. We've sourced those noises we heard earlier to the old paper mill on the outskirts of Mississippi Acres. Care to explain what you're doing there? What we're doing there? Care to explain what you mean by that? I've just sent you a photo our counselor took in your headquarters. It's a floor plan for the mill. And that noise we heard earlier? A sick alligator confined to a pen. You're poaching, aren't you? We are doing no such thing. I'll admit I haven't been to many meetings lately, what with my neck and all, but the boys... They... No. <laughs> no, they wouldn't. They just said they wanted somewhere to hunt Whitetail. To bring more money in, right? Well, gator poaching's mighty lucrative, Mrs. Tackett. You're telling me those boys have been sneaking around behind my back the whole time? And I'm the damn chairwoman. They do nothing without my approval. I swear, if my brother was involved in this, I'll, I'll pitch a fit. It ain't easy work, this. And some of them are a little old-fashioned, don't like taking orders from a woman. Even if the club's been in her family for four damn generations. I'm sure the local papers would be happy to get a hold of this story, Mrs. Taggett. Look, let me sort it out. I promise you we'll let you keep your summer camp. Hell, we'll sponsor it if you like. That's all right. But it sounds like we have a deal. You tell your boys to clear out of the mill and release the hatchlings back into the wild. I'll keep quiet about this as long as you leave Camp Haven alone. And let's keep up our flood relief work. Agreed. Sorry about the trouble, y'all. You take care now. <sighs> what a week. A new Camp Haven would have its challenges, but this... Nature hasn't been kind to us this year, and if people aren't either, it makes it damn difficult to survive out here. Of course we're invested in our history. It's who we are, what we've been through. But we can't forget our future, either. When our homes are flooded and people and animals are displaced, all we have is each other. Preparations for our next summer camp session are pretty much complete now. So as long as you've brushed up on your firearm safety and know how to fill out an injury report, you're good to go. We've got to learn to live together out here. I hope Betty's beginning to come round to that. I wonder if she can make the rest of the BGC see sense. I'll contact you if there's anything else. And if not, we've got the whole summer to plan our next move, right, Rookie? Oh, and thank you. I'm sure you thought I was crazy first time I mentioned the strange noises, but you stuck it out. It means a lot to me.